So I get calls and questions all the time, particularly new patients. Yes, I'm interested in your anti-aging program, but I really want to know about peptides. I want to take peptides. And I say, okay, great. Which one? Well, there's dozens of peptides. Peptides are small chain amino acids that through research and science, we've been able to isolate that have specific activities in your body. So every peptide is different. Some have similar actions, but they, you know, insulin is a peptide that stimulates, you know, and, and acts importantly in glucose metabolism. And so we just take that for granted. Everybody's heard of insulin, but you may not have heard of CJC1295 slash hypomorelin or tesamorelin. Well, what are those? Well, they're small chain amino acids that we use specifically to stimulate growth hormone production. Uh, there's another one called BPC-157. We all have crazy names. Well, what's that for? And because I have people come and say, hey, my friend got an injection. He went, yeah, I need to take BPC. Okay, great. What's wrong? <laughs> so, you know, it is a, for chronic pain and inflammation, that particular peptide, actually both of the three that I mentioned, uh, all three, can affect inflammation. BPC-157 is a great anti-inflammatory. It's a very simple, small dose, nightly or daily sub-Q injection um, with a tiny, thin, little 31-gauge needle like a diabetic syringe. And so its activity is to decrease inflammation. We've used it in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, with ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, and patients with let's say chronic itis, tendonitis, rotator cuff, knee, hip, shoulder. It helps reduce inflammation. There are even some that have used it in joint injections to reduce inflammation. I prefer to use things like platelet-rich plasma and stem cells are much more effective for an injured joint, but they all have effects. And so with chronic pain, let's say, even rheumatoid arthritis or general inflammation of, of your hands, you know, using a daily dose of BP-157 can reduce inflammation overall, thereby reducing pain and making life more enjoyable. So for a reasonable fee, I think the peptide is usually in the mid 300s range for a month supply. Unfortunately, insurance doesn't often cover compounded medications, but for someone that, that's in chronic pain to take a little tiny sub-Q injection nightly that can help significantly, you know, that's a big deal. And so uh, I love BPC-157 uh, for those kind of chronic pain issues. You know, as we look at all hormone levels uh, for men and women, I always look at human growth hormone levels, IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor. There are peptides that increase IGF-1 levels in your own natural human growth hormone production. You know, when treating that, I kind of call it the icing on the cake. I say, first, we got to bake the cake. We're going to balance all of your other hormones from DHEA to testosterone to estradiol, progesterone, depending on if it's man or woman and balance all your vitamins as well through micronutrient testing. But then let's ice the cake. Well, what's that mean? Well, then let's do other things that we know from an anti-aging and regenerative standpoint can help a lot in improving your quality of life. You know, improved natural levels of human growth hormone help with muscle metabolism. They decrease inflammation Women always like to know that over time, it can help increase collagen, helping hints to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. So, you know, there's many uses for these peptides. There's another called AOD 9604. Well, what does that do? Well, that one can also help improve growth hormone levels, but it also can help accelerate fat loss. And so, you know, there's a long list of different peptides that we use for specific indications. There's no one size fits all. It's all right, what's going on with you? And what can I do to prescribe and pick 
the right um, peptide to help you uh, really to feel your best and, and to perform at the level you were meant to perform at all of your life. And so there is new research going on, you know, all the time. And some of my good friends are in the midst of doing that. And there's even a new book coming out very shortly on the latest research in new peptides that I don't even have a bill yet that have very specific activities again, like I said. So peptide therapy is a tremendous benefit in anti-aging and regenerative medicine and pain management as a non-narcotic safe way to help relieve pain. And so I would uh, encourage you to seek out more information. I think finding a qualified healthcare provider that is well-versed in peptide therapy is your number one goal. You can find lots of information on the internet. I would advise you against finding websites that will sell it to you over along the line and say, here's what three things this one does and that one. It should be monitored by a professional. You have no business dabbling in this. You need to see someone that's qualified and has some experience. So if you're interested, feel free to click on the link book a telemedicine visit with me. I'd love to talk to you about it. We can get blood work done almost any lab in America. And so I look forward to helping you in increasing your knowledge and your search for self-awareness and for being the best that you can be. So when people ask me, well, am I a candidate? Who's the ideal candidate for peptide therapy? Well, anyone with the pulse. If you have issues with pain, be it acute pain, chronic pain, and you know want to do something besides just mask that by using narcotics, which you know have a very unpleasant side effect profile and certainly aren't going to do anything to improve your quality of life overall, not to mention that they chronic narcotic use decreases your natural hormone levels. They're not anti-inflammatory. All they do is cover symptoms. So who's a candidate? You are. Anyone that has an issue that they think, you know, potentially this might be a method for me to utilize this simple technique with, and how do we do that? Well, you want to seek, as I said, a qualified profession. And we do telemedicine visits with people all over the world. Happy to spend 30 minutes, uh, 15 to 30 minutes on a telemedicine visit discussing specifics, perhaps ordering blood work or labs if needed, or just sharing some information so that you know what to do. I think anyone that's tired of dealing with chronic pain, whether it's from arthritis inflammatory conditions, injuries, you know, there is a solution. And this is something that certainly could be a benefit to a vast number of people. And we would love to talk with you.